And now to a story we've been following since last night at 10, a beloved Houston police officer in critical condition after a bizarre accident at a golf course in Northwest Harris County. Now, many are hoping Officer Jerry Flores recovers. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon is live at SciFair Medical Center with what we've learned about Officer Flores. Roseanne? He is well loved. You are very right with that. The officer works in the gang division and is a liaison for the Houston Astros. He is now in a coma at the hospital, but the community wants the family to know he's anything but alone. Jerry's a staple around this department. He's loved by all, respected by all. Jerry Flores, a 26 year veteran of the Houston Police Department. His colleague Doug Griffith said they were rookies together. There's Jerry back in 1997. Uh, everybody said he looked like Joe Pesci. A man, he says, that is known to help and support others. Everybody knows Jerry, uh, not only in the department, but outside of the department. Uh, Jerry was probably better known than Art Acevedo when he got here. But Thursday night at a fundraiser for the Thin Blue Line Law Enforcement Motorcycle Club, a freak accident. Organizers say he had been there just 15 minutes when the 53-year-old on a golf cart lost his balance and hit his skull on concrete. Well, I was very concerned when I started receiving the phone calls yesterday uh, and they told me uh, that, that he was in a uh, rough shape. Now he's in critical condition at the hospital. His friends and family, even the police chief, are standing behind him, calling on faith. I'm asking on behalf of Jerry's family that we all pray as a community for him. We pray for the comfort of his family, friends, and colleagues, and his neighbors, all the people that love him. The HPOU holding a blood drive in his honor. Online, an outpour of love from friends like Judy Maldonado. I've put posts on Facebook. Everybody else has put posts on Facebook. I mean, I don't, everybody's worried about him and just praying that he's going to come through. We're told that Flores underwent surgery as, and is in critical condition at this hour. His family is staying strong and they are asking for your prayers. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Uh, he is certainly in our, our prayers, Roseanne. Thank you. And many of those who know Officer Flores are showing their support for him on social media. You can see some of those messages on our website. Click to Houston.com. Look for the story on our homepage.